Gwen. Um, you look upset. Are you all right? Well, let's see. I just had my wedding canceled because a tabloid came out with the news that my bride-to-be was the one who betrayed me. Then I found out that she did lie to me, that she knew I wasn't a crane long before that tabloid came out with it. So, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say I'm a little upset. Ethan, I am so sorry about everything that's happened. Yeah, well, so am I. You know, because now Teresa's gone. I don't know where she is. She's not here to explain. She's not here to work this out. So, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not in the mood for a little chit-chat. Ethan, you don't have to take this out on me. Wait, Gwen. I'm sorry. You're, I, I didn't mean to snap at you. It's not your fault, baby. I had nothing to do with this. your mother's letter telling Sam Bennett that you were his son from me. But it did come from my computer. So I'm responsible for everything you lost. Your name, your fortune, everything that was important in your life was taken away from you because of me. If I can undo what I've caused to happen by my going to Bermuda and talking Julian to letting you back into the Crane family, Maybe you'll forgive me. Teresa, you're one delectable dear. Mr. Crane. Oh, Captain. <clears throat> What's our ETA? The weather conditions are perfect. We should be in Bermuda right on schedule. Excellent. <laughs> Incredibly beautiful woman. Yes. She is. She certainly is. Oh, I wouldn't mind a night of passion with this hot tamale. <laughs> oh, stop it, Julian. I'll stay focused. I must make sure the children is killed. With any luck, Louise, too. I promise father I'd take care of him. I must. Rest until my poor sister's dead. Mm, this is so wonderful. Yeah, this is definitely up there on my way to spend time. Mm, I'm having such a good time. I feel like we're really on our honeymoon. Yeah. I'm sorry we couldn't go through with the wedding, honey. It's our decision. And with everything Ethan and Teresa are going through, I, I don't want us to have any regrets, though. I want us to have the most wonderful, romantic, perfect time together. Perfect. <laughs> it is perfect. Out here, away from harmony. So peaceful. I don't have to worry about Julian and Alistair and their threats to try and break us up. Mm -mm. Heck, we don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Face it, Ivy. Your days as Queen of the Hill are over. Julian is on his way to Bermuda to divorce you. <laughs> you know, Rebecca, do you honestly think that I care about being Julian's wife? He is a pathetic excuse of a man, and you deserve him. I don't think you care about Julian, but I know that you care about the crane power, the money, and the mansion. And you are about to lose it all. Well, if I were you, Rebecca, and thank God I'm not, I wouldn't move your cheap, trashy clothes in here quite so quickly. I've been Mrs. Crane for over 20 years, and I am still the only Mrs. Crane. Well, and you enjoy it while you still can. 
because I cannot wait for Julian to get back here so he can throw you out on the street in your... Well, and you're not inconsiderable, dear here. Oh, don't think that Julian is going to get rid of me quite so quickly, Rebecca. Oh? Well, what are you going to do? Chain yourself to the front door? <laughs> no. You were going to be thrown out on the street with nothing and nobody. Not even your, uh, precious Sam will want you then. Okay, just leave Sam out of this, all right? Oh, he's already out of it. You see, Sam is married to Grace. And he is never going to leave her. And nothing could tear that couple apart. It's from the public records department in Hartford. One page to follow. Well, if David's telling the truth, then it'll be a copy of his and Grace's marriage license. Or it could tell us that there's nothing on file. Now, I refuse to believe that you were ever involved with this character, Grace. He's a con artist. But what if there is a marriage license? And I don't remember anything about my life before I met you. But what if he's telling the truth? I mean, he did pass a lie detector test and a psychological test. That doesn't prove anything. Oh, well, you're right. The tests aren't 100% conclusive. I, I just refuse to believe that you are ever married to this man. Well, we'll know for sure in a minute. Please, Sam, whatever happens, just know that I love you. I only love you. Look at it. What's wrong? Nothing. I want David to be here when we look at this paper. Well, no, Sam, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I do. I want him to be here when we confront him with the truth. I want him to know that we called his bluff and proved that he is nothing but a liar. Sam. Sam, what if you're wrong? What if that's the marriage license that proves he was married to Grace? I'm not wrong, Eve. I'm gonna have one of the officers bring him out. You're my wife, Grace. I'm gonna prove it. Sam's gonna see that I'm telling the truth. Too. You know, when we go back to Harmony, I want to go through with the wedding. I can't wait to marry you. And I hope Ethan and Teresa can work out their problems, but well, if they don't, I still want to do it. Me too. You know, I still can't get over how eager Julian was to see us get married. Yeah. Well, that was quite a turnaround. Still can't figure out that guy's angle, you know? It's the same guy who was dead set against us getting married, would do anything in his power to break us up. Even hiring a guy to wear a mask to impersonate me? Make you think that I was cheating on you? Still can't believe you would go so far. Yeah. Your father was in on it, too. But anyway, you know, all of a sudden Julian wants us to get married? Why? And why now? I don't know. All I know is that Julian seemed genuinely disappointed that we didn't get married. Yeah. I mean, he really wanted to see that wedding ring on my finger. Mm -hmm. But if only Louise and Sheridan had gone through with the wedding, she'd have put that poisoned ring on her finger and all this would be done and over. <sighs> she'd be dead and I wouldn't have to kill her myself. You're not trying to weasel out of doing what you have to do, are you, Julian? No, of course not. I know I have no choice. I just, I, I, I hate the idea of killing my own sister. I thought you said you had a plan. 
that you wouldn't actually be committing the murder yourself. Please. Do we have to use the M word? Call it whatever the hell you want. Just make sure it happens. It will happen. I'm on the island, where I'll have no trouble bribing the police. My plan will make Sheridan's death look like an accident, and Luis will blame himself if he survives. If he survives? Well, I can't be certain that he'll die, but if he survives, he'll blame himself for Sheridan's death. His life will be ruined. He'll spend the rest of his days in despair. He'll forget all about snooping into his father's disappearance. Well, now is the perfect time. They're at the resort, totally relaxed, and their guard is down. What exactly are you, Father? Don't ask. I don't think I have to ask. I think I know where you are. So why did you ask me to come here? Teresa, you know I don't belong here. I, I'm not a crane. I have wonderful news, Ethan. I talked to Julian about you. You talked to Julian about me? I helped him realize how much he loves you, Ethan. He raised you as his son, and he still loves you. He, he still misses you. He does? Yes, he does. Teresa's right. She's opened my eyes to the truth. I raised you as my son. It's hard for me to think of you as anything but my son. But Sam Ben is the man who fathered me. And I don't care who your biological father is. I still think of you as my son in my heart. Come back to the family, Ethan. I want you to be my son again. I want you to be a crane again. I've missed you, Ethan. Mr. Too Far. Thank you, Teresa. I mean, I can't believe you do this for me. Thank you. I know what you think, so I'm not to try to convince Julian to let Ethan back into the Crane family. She says it's a crazy fantasy. But it's the only fantasy I have left. I'm sorry, Gwen. I know this isn't your fault. It's just I... I've got a lot on my mind. I know you do. It's just... I wish that Teresa was here so we could talk about this. I love her and I want to work this out. You said that she had left. Do you know where she went? No. I don't have a clue. Look, Ethan, I I know that I may sound like the jilted fiancé here, but I'm just, I'm really just being honest with you. I don't think you know the real Teresa. She's been deceiving you all along. I don't believe that. Look, she isn't innocent. She doesn't have it in her to be deceptive. Gwen, I know she didn't send that letter to the tabloid. Okay, but think about it, Ethan. She knew that Sam was your father all along and didn't tell you. And even after it came out in the tabloid, she still didn't tell you that she had had this information. I know, but I'm sure she has an explanation. Which you deserve to hear. Why did she scan Ivy's letter onto her computer? If she wasn't going to send it to the tabloid, what was she going to do with it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, you are going to regret this, Rebecca, because I can ruin you. I can make one phone call, and the society pages are going to be screaming about the way you tried to claw your way into the Crane Empire and laughing about the way you failed. Ha! Huh. You are the one they will laugh at when they hear how you were tossed out under the street like yesterday's garbage. No, face facts, Ivy. I am going to be the next Mrs. Julian Crane. And everything that goes with it will be mine. <laughs> you know, Rebecca, with the exception of your, um, looks, you haven't changed since our sorority days, have you? You're still a conniving slut. Oh, tisk, tisk. Oh, my, such language from a, uh, former pillar of society. 
I remember how you stole Jonathan Hotchkiss away from Clarissa without a second thought, and now you're doing the same thing with my husband. Well, you can have Julian. He's a philandering idiot anyway. But you will not take my place in society or here in the mansion. <laughs> well, I will take your place in society and in the mansion. And if I were you, you know, I would stop all this silly false bravado and do something constructive with my time, like pack. <laughs> you are such a bitch. And you are such a fool, Ivy. This is all your own doing. You are going to end up with nothing. You have lost it all. You know, I want more than anything to believe that David is lying, but... But? You know, I've always worried that something like this would happen. I mean, not that I have a second husband, but just that something would come back from my past. Sweetie, it's totally understandable for someone with amnesia. But you wouldn't be normal if you didn't wonder about the first half of your life. I try not to dwell on it. I mean, my life with Sam has been so wonderful. But I know that I have had another whole life. That whoever I was before is lurking out there somewhere. And I have always been just secretly afraid that something would come from my past, something that would upset my life with Sam. And what if this is it? What if David is the thing from my past that I was always afraid would come back? Beautiful ring. Thanks. Oh, you're engaged. How wonderful. I remember when I was first engaged. It's such a wonderful time. Are you flying to the islands to get married? No. My wedding was yesterday. But where's your husband? Something terrible happened during the ceremony and it was canceled. Oh, I'm so sorry. How awful for you. I've lost the only man I'll ever love. The man I have loved my whole life. And unless I can work a miracle, I'm afraid I'm going to lose him forever. Mother, what are you doing out here? Oh, Ethan, I... <sighs> well, it was the only place I could think to get some rest. Rebecca seems to have taken over the rest of the house. Rebecca has no right to take your house. Well... She seems to think she does. Probably soon she will. Julian's gone to Bermuda to divorce me. Oh. Sorry. Well, losing Julian is no great loss. But it just, oh, it galls me to think that unless he comes to his senses, he might actually come back and marry Rebecca. I know how that must make you feel. Mm, no, she, she can have him. It's just picturing Rebecca in my home, you know, lording it over me that she's queen of the manor. It drives me crazy. Look, I'm sorry. I know what you stand to lose. Mm, I don't know how this is going to turn out, Ethan. But whatever happens in Bermuda is going to have a huge impact on the rest of my life. Now, Mother, whatever impacts your life impacts my life, too. You are a wonderful young man. Oh. You're so much like your father. You still love him, don't you? Even though you know you can't be with him because he's committed to his marriage, you still love him.
I know you're afraid. I know you had a life before you met me, and it has to be very frightening to not remember. It's a very real possibility that something could come out of the past. But nothing has, and it's been over 20 years. Nothing has until now. No. David Hastings is lying. He was never married to you. Now, I don't know what his game is, but you were never married to him. What makes you so sure of that? Even if you have amnesia, if you'd been married to David, you'd still have a memory of, of a bond, of a commitment, a devotion to your husband. And you don't have any such memory, do you? No, you're right. <laughs> and I would like to think that if I love somebody enough to marry them, that I would remember them. So you see what I'm saying? It's not possible that you were ever married to David. He's a liar. Well, I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? I'm keeping an eye on Sheridan and Luis, and you should have a very easy time of it. They're completely off guard. Good. That will make things easier. We should be landing shortly. I should be at the resort within the hour. How will I find you? Don't worry, I'll find you. Well, I'm quite sure this trip will be a success. Did I also tell you I'm divorcing Ivy while I'm down here? You know I know everything, Julian. Yes, this makes this trip doubly important. I'm killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. I'll be rid of Ivy, and the threat of having our secret about Martin Fitzgerald exposed will be gone for good. And my poor sister will be dead. Let's not talk about Julian or Alistair for the rest of the trip, right? Let's just enjoy our time together. I'm all for that. Good. Because I have an evening of romance planned for us. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you have planned? Surprise. Mm. But it's starting right now. Mm. Enjoy your night together because it's going to be your last. Sweetheart, this is paradise. Mm, it is. But then again, anywhere I'm with you is paradise. Mm -hmm. You know, I never thought I could be this happy. Sure, you all right? I was just thinking about Ethan and Teresa. Oh. And they should be on their honeymoon right now and enjoying each other the way we are. I know. It's hard not to think about them when we're so happy. I feel so bad for them. I still can't believe the way everything fell apart. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll work things out by the time we get back, and then we can have the double wedding after all. I hope so, because I know how much they love each other. Yeah. Well, you know, Teresa, the big dreamer, romantic, and, well, she is always saying that fate's on her side, so. Maybe fate will bring Ethan and Teresa back together. I hope it does. I hope that what's happened doesn't tear them apart. <laughs> Gwenny, I am so glad you're here. We have so much to celebrate. Oh, we do? Yes. Julian is on his way down to Bermuda to divorce Ivy. And then he and I will get married right away. We got rid of Teresa, so now Ethan is free to go back where he belongs. To you. No, Ethan's not free, Mother. He still loves Teresa. Oh, piddle. He'll get over that silly infatuation. Uh, no, Mother, he won't. Y you know, you said once we set Teresa up and made it look like she sent Ivy's letter to the tabloid that he would hate her. Well, I just talked to him and he's still in love with her. He believes in her and he's upset that she's gone. He still loves her? Yes. And he's upset that she's not here to work things out with him. But she's not here, right? Right. Ah, well, that is a huge mistake on her part. 
Now, she ran off instead of trying to work things out with Ethan. And believe me, Ethan and Teresa are finished. I can't believe you had to cancel your wedding over a misunderstanding. That's heartbreaking. Oh, it is heartbreaking. But even if it was a misunderstanding, it's still all my fault. How is it all your fault? Because I scanned the letter to my computer in the first place. So many people were hurt because of it. Why did you scan the letter? I was upset. I thought that Ethan was going to marry Gwen. Mm -hmm. And I knew that if Gwen found out that Ethan wasn't a crane, that, that he didn't have all that money, that she would drop him. I love Ethan for who he is, not what he has. So uh, I thought maybe I would use the letter to make Gwen show her true colors. But I never did. In fact, I deleted the whole file from my computer. Then how did the story get into the tabloid? I don't know. I and mean, I guess they found the letter before I deleted it. But whoever sent it wouldn't have been able to if they didn't find it on my computer. Mm -hmm. So it's all my fault that everyone found out that Ethan wasn't Julian Crane's son. Ethan's life was destroyed. And that's why I'm going to Bermuda. To see Ethan's father. I, I mean... Julian Crane, who raised Ethan as his son. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna find him and convince him to take Ethan back into the family. Do you really think this man will take his son back? From everything you've told me, it doesn't sound as if he's a very loving person. Well, he has to. I mean, it's the only way I can make amends with Ethan. Otherwise, he'll never realize how much I really do love him. He'll never forgive me for what I've done. So did you get the information from Hartford? A copy of my and Grace's marriage license? We haven't looked at the facts yet. I wanted you to be here. How very thoughtful. I wanted to see that look in your face when we look at the absolute proof that you've been lying. Well, let's not keep us any more in suspense. Why don't you just look at the facts? Wait, Sam. Before you look at that facts, I want you to know how much I love you. You and the children mean everything to me. You are my life. Look at them, Mr. Hastings. They're such good people. And they're so much in love. They have a wonderful marriage. So if this is some kind of game, or some kind of con, Please don't do it. We're wasting time, Dr. Russell. The proof of my marriage lies there in the fax machine. Grace is my wife. Nice to have you back with us, Mr. Crane. Yes, quite, quite. Uh, is there any messages for me? No, sir. Are you expecting someone? Yes, mm -hmm. but I'm sure he'll find me. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Maybe I'll stop at the bar in the meantime. You can go on up to our room, order whatever you like. I'll be there shortly. All right. Bye now. <clears throat> you had that girl lead me to you? I knew you'd follow little Julian's lead. <laughs> Could have just left a note at the desk. I don't want to risk being seen by Sheridan or Louise. Now forget about the girl. I want you to stay focused on your mission. Don't worry, Father. I know exactly why. Yeah, my plan to kill Sheridan will work perfectly.
everything satisfactory, sir? Well, I think everything looks just wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> this is perfect. Well, to us, to our life, and our love. Look, darling, they must be on their honeymoon. Oh, looks that way to me. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you. I didn't want to disappoint him. <laughs> Besides, this is supposed to be our honeymoon. And... Well, I'm going to make it more romantic than any honeymoon ever was. Mm, mm. It already is. Nothing's going to stop me from marrying you. Am I right, Mother? You're still in love with Sam in spite of everything? Ethan, you know there's really no point in discussing Oh, it's all right. Look, I understand. That's how I feel about Teresa. But she took off, and now I don't know where she is. Uh, Ethan. She ruined your life. She is responsible for every horrible thing that happened to you and to me. No. I don't believe that she sent your letter to the tabloid. Well, Ethan, it didn't just magically fly off of her computer, did it? <sighs> Please, just forget about Teresa. You're going to meet a girl that you can really love and trust. I know you hate Teresa, but she's going to be my wife. Ethan, how can you want to marry a girl like that? I mean, she ruined your life. Look, I told you, she didn't ruin my life. And I love her. All right, be sensible, Ethan. Has she explained to you why my personal, private papers were on her computer? No, she hasn't, but I'm sure she can explain it. Look, she's not what you think. <laughs> All right. Okay, look. No, I don't want to fight with you. Especially about Teresa. Okay, we've just, we both, we've both been through too much. Yes, we have. Oh, boy. Love has been a disappointment for both of us, hasn't it? And here, you thought you'd be married and on your honeymoon. I thought that when Sam found out that you were really his son, he'd come back and we'd be a family. But here we are. Just the two of us. Without the people we love. Everything is going to be fine. I won't let anything or anyone hurt you. Not ever again. I'm just scared, Sam. I'm just so scared. Do you see what you're doing to her? Look at the hell you're putting my wife through with your lies. I'm doing what I have to do. After all these years, I've finally found my wife. And I'm not gonna lose her now. I still love you, Grace. You're my wife. All right. Let's get this circus over with. You know, I, I wish I had your optimism, Mother, but I'm beginning to think that Ethan really does love Teresa. I don't think this is going to break them up. I think he's going to forgive her. Well, that is possible, of course. But girls like Teresa are their own worst enemy. She is going to do something. She's going to make some wrong decision, some wrong choice that will permanently wreck her relationship with Ethan. I don't think so. Gwen, trust me. Teresa will do something to destroy Ethan's love for her. You can count on it. Please tell me.
tell me if Julian Crane has checked in? Yes, he has. Would you like me to put you through? Uh, no. No, I'm at the airport, but I will be there soon. Um, you have my reservation, Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. Lopez Fitzgerald. Yes, uh, madame, your reservation is confirmed. Great. Okay. Um, I will talk to Julian Crane when I get there. Thank you. <sighs> this is your last hope, Teresa. If you want any chance at a life with Ethan, you're going to have to work magic on Julian. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Hmm. What did you wish for? Tell me, I'll make it happen. Oh, it wasn't for myself. I have everything I could ever want. Hmm. I just wish Ethan and Therese could be happy again. Well, that's up to them. And fate. I just wish everyone could be as happy as I am. I love you so much. I've waited my whole life for you. Oh, look at them father. They're so in love. Good. They'll die happy. And I want no mistakes this time. Take care of it. I promise you we'll be taken care of. We sincere and we'll leave this island together. She'll be dead with any luck. So will he. It says there's no record of any marriage between David and Grace, right, Sam? It's not true. It is. Tell them, Sam. Say, Sam. Tell me, is is David my husband? Am I married to him? 